Hello everybody, my name is Super Scroll, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer Silverness. I haven't actually uploaded a video in quite a long time, three or four days actually, so I apologize a lot for that, so profusely I apologize, so sorry, because I was really busy with school and stuff, wasn't able, and I can't actually remember what we were doing, because I haven't up, uh, recorded in quite a while, so I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the Pokemon the Department Center here, the Pokemon Department Center thing. So I think I said I was going to go show you where the coin case was in the underground place. So I will do that now. You guys come up here. And you go down stars. And there are two people to battle. So he'll be talking about Pokemon and stuff. And we'll be battling the Pokemons. Speaking of Pokemon battling. My school actually. Just, uh, they created a club. A Pokemon battle club. Which I find hilarious. Um. I don't really know what to say to that, but I hadn't checked it out yet, but I really want to, because it sounds hilarious. Pokemon Battle Club, and then it's just like, no DS is required. A lame joke like that. So, that sounds quite funny. <laughs> I don't know. I happen to love the, that, that, that idea of a Pokemon Battle Club. I don't understand what you do in that club without DSs, but who knows? Um, I'm not entirely sure if I mentioned that, that, that I'm not, I'm not, because I was training off screen and... I'm not sure if I covered that in the last video, but uh, as you can see here, my Centret, or s what's it called again? <laughs> my god, I can't even remember the name, I'm so stupid. I think it, yeah, cent Centret evolved into a Furret. As you can plainly see, Diana's now not a Centret, but a Furret, or Centret, whatever it's pronounced. So I'm spamming Quick Attack on the Slowpoke, and I got a crit when it really didn't matter. Also known as a Let's Play Curse, in effect. Anyway. Beat that freaking Pokemaniac, which, look at his eyes, it just look, looks like he's freaking insane, he's pointing to something in the sky, don't know, um, this dude here will actually, will charge you, uh, uh for a Pokemon Salon, he's a Pokemon Salon, and he, he's one of the brothers that, that gives you Pokemon haircuts, it's 500 Poke Dollars for a haircut, this person here will also do the same thing, oh no, this is Herbal Medicine, okay, there's another one that does the same thing for cheaper, so there's things you can buy, actually, okay, so, these obviously make your Pokemon uh, like you less because they're bitter, but uh, the haircuts will actually make your Pokemon. There's a coin case. Okay, the haircuts will make your Pokemon like you more. So if a Pokemon's evolution is based on if they like you, that's a good idea. This dude got booted out of the game corner because he was cheating using Pokemon. What a loser and a jerk. What a super nerd. That was a bad joke, okay. Back to this, Fury Swipes, Furry Swipes, I always used to say that. Fury Swipes. And Fury Swipes can sound really dirty. One more time, Oh, fuck you. Quick Attack, I like the animation Quick Attack. Like I've mentioned many times before, I love the animations in this game. Most of them at least. Kinda don't like with the draw, cause it looks stupid. Like you go down and have a, a little armored hat come on top of you. Don't really understand that. Go to Fulgora because I don't think she's seen much action since I caught her. We will go for a Thunder Shock. I'm not sure if I mentioned that she learned Thunder Shock as well. I don't really know. I can't really remember what I told you guys and what I showed you guys and whatnot because I was training them off screen. If you guys didn't already know, Jolteon's like one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So, I mean, there's a this generation. Or the previous one, at least. Yeah, so then you can come up here, which is the other side to the entrance to the underground, and you'll come up here, which is... Oh, whoops. I should probably, uh, set the bike back to... to my select key, so I can use that. There we go. So then you come out here, which is just beside the Pokemon Center. But I don't think I really need to heal up. But there's something else I need to show you guys, which is sort of important. This dude right here. Come into this house, and they'll be like, Are you a trainer? I've got a useful number, phone number for you. I don't really like taking phone numbers from strangers, but that was Bill's number. We all know Bill from uh, Pokemon Fire Red, slash Leaf Green, slash Red and Blue, slash Green, slash First Generation. Slash remake of second gen. I don't know, but yeah, Bill is the uh, the guy who created the Pokemon Center, 
and this this is his house clearly, and they're just like he's in Equity City right now, so we take his number because he later on will become important. But other than that, um, I should go heal up, and then I guess I'll take on the gym. Seems like the only logical thing to do. So we heal. Um, this Pokemon gym, as all of you know, is is challenging. Oh, hello, youngster Joey. I expected you to call a little bit earlier, uh, honestly, but you call now at least. Sorry, Joey, I wasn't able to uh, pick up your phone earlier. I actually lost it and found it back later on somewhere hidden in the Alex Forest, where a giant Feraligatr, not my own, but a different one, actually used Bite on it and then used Ice Punch on it, and it was completely destroyed. So I had to wait until I can go back to my hometown and let my mom give me another one. Sorry about that, Joey. I wasn't able to take any of your previous calls. I want to skip most of the battles in here because, um, let's just head right to the, the, the gym leader, which is right there, the bane of everyone's existence. The bane of any Lunazlock player of this generation's existence. The bane of any player of Pokemon in general existence. Don't know where I'm going with this. But, yeah. I still have been, I have quite a few episodes of Minecraft Skyblock uploaded. Not uploaded, but uh, recorded. I'm just waiting to edit them and upload them because I haven't, I haven't been keeping, kept keep keeping up with that. So sorry about that. This game is gonna be quite a bit longer, so kind of want to keep. Oh wow, that's a lot of hits. So I kind of want to keep up with that. Um, I sh probably should keep up with that, but this is like more important still. There is a way to avoid this trainer. I don't know why I didn't take that path. I'm gonna go for a quick attack. Another one. Jigglypuff is kind of eh in this game. It knows like sing, so it's kind of annoying. Sorry about the fast forwarding, but this is a stupid battle of Jigglypuffs to death. Anyway, I I'd call it genocide if I went after Jigglypuffs, I guess. Yeah. So this is Whitney. I think it's her name, right? Yeah, it is her name. Oh, yep, it is. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle me? I'm warning you, I'm good. She's not good, she's just frankly very annoying as a trainer. Not her in general, but her Pokemon. Okay, it's her and her Pokemon, because she's technically a little girl. So she's in her Clefairy. Not the biggest deal. It does no metronome, I'm pretty sure, so it can be deadly. So we'll go for a couple of Fury swipes on it. Maybe I can take it out in one... No, hit three times. Okay, use Double Slap. Not that effective. Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna go for a quick attack. Okay, good. I took it out. Next Pokemon. Holy crap, guys. That's all I have to say. Whitney. I will definitely change my Pokemon. This is why I wanted my Hercules. Because this will make this this pretty uh, pretty awesome. It's Miltank here. Level 20. Uh, knows milk drinks, so it basically drinks from its own udders and can restore its own health. It's the most annoying Pokemon ever because it knows rollout, so it totally like spams that and milk drink when its HP gets low, making it right uh, really impossible to take down. Imagine if they had to add if they the trainers actually used Pokemon, uh, not sorry, not Pokemon potions, that would make this critically annoying. But as you can see, I got a double crit on it with a super effective move and took it down in one freaking hit making this the easiest gym battle so far honestly um but I warn you if you don't have high level Pokemon and awesome Pokemon like mine then this is ridiculous wah wah <laughs> hey you meanie and then she won't give us anything but what the hell give me my badge bitch no. oh no you made Whitney cry! It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Does that mean she loses often? Yeah, but this battle is really annoying unless you have awesome Pokemon. What do you want a badge? Yeah, I want a badge. So then you get the you play badge. And unless you use strength outside of battle, it also boosts your Pokemon speed. You can have this 2TM45, which contains milk drink, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it's a tract. Okay, sorry. 
The Mildred Ring might be uh, what she gives you in the remake of this game. Anyway, we're done here. It wasn't actually that bad. It normally is, though, so don't even think that just because I did it good. good. Just because I did it good, that means it's going to be easy, because it's not. Anyway, so we are done this. The third gym badge collected and accounted for. Guys, I was actually kind of thinking of, because I don't want this run to run on too long, because n normally when that happens, I get kind of bored with games. That makes me kind of uh, have a very uh, small attention span, but still, I get pretty bored with games. So I might consider just doing this through to the Elite Four, and then taking a break from this and starting another Let's Play. Possibly finishing that. A shorter game, obviously, I don't want to have a long game and have you guys waiting. Because I did say at the beginning that I was going to complete the all the uh, all the gyms from this gen uh, this Hoenn region, and then I'd move over to the Kanto region, which is technically where the Elite Four is anyway, and then I was going to take on uh, the Kanto gyms, so I was going to do that, but that might make this extra long, and kind of boring for me, so what I was going to do actually was, I was just going to do this up until the Elite Four and beat them, then take a break from this game, and do something else, something shorter possibly, and then I'd come back and later on do the Kanto Gyms. Because I have technically done the Kanto Gyms quite recently. Only a couple months ago, really, is when I finished it. Didn't I finish that, like, in August? So it's only been two months. So, maybe I'd take that a break. Get you guys less knowledgeable about those gyms. And then come back and make it extra interesting. So, that's what I plan on doing. If you guys don't like that idea, comment on it. If you guys do like that idea, still comment on it and tell me, because I need some feedback before I go ahead with any plans on my own. Anyway, so which one was the... wasn't here, okay. On here, remember where I showed you guys where you, uh, the garden place? So now you talk to one of them. Oh, you're better than Whitney. Do you know about that moving tree? If you wet it with a squirt bottle, it attacks. But since you have some badges, you should be okay. So you get the squirt bottle. Now that moving tree, uh, just west of... Is it Violet City or Azalea Town? Okay, I don't know what you, I don't care what you say, but yeah. Is it West or uh, uh, Azalea Town or Violet City? I don't know. Let's check. Doesn't really matter, but we'll check anyway. I don't actually know, but I just give you guys a spoiler of what's coming up because I showed you the map of the city next. Anyway, so now that we're done here, we can actually go ahead up here, and as you saw, this is. Uh, well, this is a new area, so I could fish here. I think I can fish here. I didn't really, I didn't really show you the uh, the game corner, but I did show you where to get the coin case. So, um, once you do that, you can just go to the game corner, and it works as like any other game corner with games and stuff like that. I already showed you two game corners in my other let's play. So, oh, Ellie like kid. Oh, alley kid, why why would I want you? Just because you think you're better than Jolteon and you're not. Just because you can learn Thunder Punch, which is way better than Thunder Shock. I just killed you. What are you gonna do about that, huh? Oh well Diana can't even level up from that. Okay, um, I don't wanna battle her, but I guess I will. She's got a Vulpix, I'll go for a quick attack. What else to do? I'll go for another quick attack, and I'm fast forwarding at random parts that you guys feel like you might be skipping. It's not your brain, it's not your computer, it's me. Oh my god, damn you. Wow, one tackle took you out. You're weak. Diglett is actually very fast Pokemon. Not nearly as fast as Furret, obviously. Damn it! Damn it! What's going on? Why do I keep missing? Thank you. And Meryl. Oh, look at the cute Meryl. I am still working on getting an HTP VR, guys. If I haven't already told you that, that I wanted to get an HTP VR, I am wanting. I'm looking for one, and I plan on getting one. Because I want one. Because, so I could do Wii games and stuff like that. So there's another guard there that would battle you. But it's, okay, I can catch Pokemon here. But I ran into this guy, so he'll battle you at nighttime, obviously, but not now. Um, so... Yay, Pokemon, let's see what it is, anything useful? Okay, it's a backup, I guess, for... Raichu's pretty decent, it's pretty awesome, actually. It's not a Pikachu, 
but it's cool. I have a fear that I might kill it though, so let's see. God damn it. Oh well. I don't really need these Pokemon. Now that I have this awesome team, I don't really need to catch Pokemon anymore. But for the sake of it, just in case I die, I will have to catch Pokemon. Like, for whatever ungodly reason, someone ch chooses to do a self-destruct. Like a damn Weezing that I find in the, the wild. So that's TMO4, which contains... Rollout. That's actually a really cool move. Ice Punch, I didn't actually teach anybody. I didn't teach the moves that I bought, because I wanted to show you guys that, and I totally forgot. So I'm teaching Ice Punch to Poseidon. Because that's an awesome move to know. Another good Pokemon to have this with is Quagsire, because Quagsire is a water ground type, which is a really good type. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of Leer, and it learns Ice Punch, and it learns Earthquake, so it's a pretty badass Pokemon. And Headbutt, I'm going to teach to Furret, obviously, or sorry, Diana. They can all learn it, but Diana needs it. We'll get rid of... Def I really don't... I have so many normal attacks. I don't really know what to get rid of. I kind of want to keep Defense Cruel. Even though I don't really use it. It's good to have just in case. Um, I might actually get rid of Tackle. Because I already have Quick Attack, which is better than Tackle anyway. Because it's, it's a priority plus one plus the same attack. Plus, yeah. I don't really need Mercury in my team anymore, actually. Because, well, I've got Furret, which is way better to be honest but I'll keep it there because just in case because just in case exactly it was zoo but I could have caught one of those I hope I don't have a problem finding a flying Pokemon have I already found a flying Pokemon I don't even know no I have not why, why did I think I did I don't know but damn you Ooh, Doug trio could have caught that so you go up here this is the real way you have to go I'll just battle you in fast forward mode because I really don't care for you. You should spam headbutt because it's the awesomest move ever. Kadabra, whoa. Too bad I'm faster. Anyway, up here is a berry. Ice berry, okay, so that's clearly heals you from frozen status infliction. Over here is National Park. There's two ways to go. That um, north of that gate we saw north of uh, Goldenrod with the guard standing right there. This actually is a place where you can do on certain days, I don't remember what days, I think it's like Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, or something like that, you can do the bug catching contest. Today's Saturday, that means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Uh-oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to see use for it. Be use the first Pokemon in your party, blah, blah, blah. I, this will be the Pokemon I get to catch for this area. So, so I get 20 park balls, awesome. So this will be the Pokemon I get to catch for the area as my one in Nuzlocke, so unfortunately I can only catch one, but in the contest I can only catch one anyway, I think. Well, the first one you catch is the only one that counts. And uh, if you win, I don't actually know what happens. Sorry to be informal about that. In informal? No. On inf I don't know. But I have a problem. I think I'm not going to be able to yap. Okay, no, maybe I am. Even with the randomizer, I, I found a bug Pokemon. So, clearly, um, that is, the randomizer doesn't affect the bug Pokemon during the contest. It's just a Caterpie, honestly, so it kind of sucks. But I might end up using it, because I do like Butterfreeze quite a bit. I'm going... I don't get to nickname it? What? Alright, I guess the contest is really over because I can't do anything else. So, do you go back and talk to that same person? I think so. You still have 20 minutes left. Do you want to finish your show now? Yep. Okay, go to the North. Here, the announcements of the winners. Okay. Placing third was Bug Cutcher Josh, who caught a Butterfree. Okay. So, clearly, I'm not going to win anything. Score was 299. Someone caught a Kakuna. Not me. The winner is Cool Trainer Nick. That is not me. But how did he catch a Pinsir? I don't know. But cool. Anyway, I got to catch the. I get to keep the Butterfree. I probably train it off screen. And I get a Berry. That's all I get for participating. 
Look at all those stupid participation medals and ribbons you get for just participating. Now I can nickname the Butterfree. It's a female. I don't actually know what to name it, so I'll be right back with a name. The Roman God. It's actually becoming increasingly, increasingly difficult to find Roman God names, so I might stop with that and just start naming it anything. But I'm going to look for a name anyway, and this episode has been going on for quite a long time. Who cares? I'm making an extra long episode for you guys, so instead of having many episodes, I'll make one extra long one. Be right back with a name. Alright guys, like I said, it's really hard to find Roman deity names for my Pokemon, so I'm going to stop doing that now. I have a stupid name that I plan on giving it. Hopefully it fits. Cat. Dirt. Caterpina. It's a female version of Caterpie, so Caterpina. And it was sent to my box. I really don't care. Uh, so you can catch Pokemon up in this grass too and all that. I already caught one. Can I fish in here? Nope. Clearly not. Um, but there is something um, very useful TM that you can get here. One of the best TMs, in my opinion, right there. You see that? You see that this items are all hidden along in the fence here. But you can't find any way in. I thought it took my time trying to look for ways to get in. And these people will be like, this dude here is actually on his Game Boy? No. You can also print out stuff like mail and think he's printing on something. In the remake, I'm pretty sure he's, he's either playing on his Game Boy or his DS or something. Yeah. But anyway, the gap right, he the, the gap right here where there's no fence is actually right here. And you can go back here. And then you get this TM right here, which is... Perhaps I've never heard of that TM, but I don't know one that doesn't have TM in front of it and is called Paralyzed Heal. So perhaps I was mistaken. That is not what I'm looking for, clearly. But there is a TM in here, one of the most useful in the game. And perfect for... What's his name? I don't even remember my own thing's name. Thing's name. Yeah, not even, not even, not even calling it the right thing. Okay, here. What is this? TM28. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. TM28 contains... Everyone knows what it contains. It contains dig. So, I'm going to head and teach that to... Hmm. Angidia. Oh, wow, I'm stupid. Angidia. Okay, Angidia was what I had. Not. I don't even have Mercury in my party anymore, and I was making comments about that. Okay, guess not, no. So now I have dig, so I'm going to get rid of mud slap, because dig is way better. I do like in the remix, uh, in the newer games at least, uh, Dig is actually 60 base power, I'm sorry, 80 base power instead of 60. And Rollout is also here. I could teach that in place of Rock Throw to Angidia. But I'm not sure if I want to do that because then I get locked into using it. So I think I won't do that yet, but maybe in the future. It's not great to blow all your good TMs on Hello Ralph Fisher. Why do they all give, give me the same greetings? Scroll, hello, I mean, howdy, whatever. It's amazing, on Route 32, quillfish are biting like there is no tomorrow. So basically, the, the, the good thing about talking to all these people is that you, they tell you where you can catch certain Pokemon and how to catch them. But obviously, in this kind of a game, it doesn't really matter because I'm using a randomizer. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's all you can really do back here because everything else is insignificant. Other than, it, well, yeah. Oh, there's something here. Okay, okay, full heal. I knew that was there. That's why I walked down here. Yep. Um, but yeah, anything after you find TM28 is pretty insignificant because Dig is like awesomeness in a ball. <laughs> yeah, in a ball because you find it in a Pokeball. I don't know. It's awesomeness in a ball. Anyway, we're pretty much done in the National Park because there's nothing else you can do. You can't head about the trees or anything. Because they're too big, clearly, and I don't think a Pokemon wants to be headbutt in that thing, even though they're technically less than double the size of your character because of weird graphics and, I don't know, ratios. Anyway, we're done in National Forest Park, whatever. I don't really like National Park Forest thing. So we're going to head out this way. We've already caught a Pokemon on this route. Have we? We have. Tangela, go for a headbutt. And he put me to sleep, bastard. He's constricting me. And I woke up though, so the bastard died. I am done using my ferret, so I'm gonna switch to Fulgore. The Fulgora. I'm saying Fulgore because I'm I watch Zatch Bell. I used to. And there's a guy named Fulgore, and he's hilarious and stupid all at the same time. So I'm used to saying that. Here is 
the lup dip did a lup dip did a lup dip did a lup the the tree thing. The tree thing. We can hit but Pokemon on this, but I think we've already found our Pokemon uh on this route, so wait a minute, is this a new route here? Let's check. Let's move up a little bit and see if these routes are too different. Because they are separated by a tree. Which makes me think that they might be different. Not pack. Poke gear. I'm currently on Route 36, National Park, and Route 35, so this is a new route, so I can catch Pokemon up here. I'm gonna do a headbutt though rather than grass, because maybe there's something different. Nope, nothing. Actually! Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Nah. I don't think I'm gonna go with that. A Houndoom! Holy crap! Hell yes! So all I have to say is, holy crap and hell yes, don't kill it, please, I've been wanting to use this forever. And he did go, that was a critical hit, so maybe Tackle won't kill him if I do another one, but I don't want to chance it. So I'm going to start throwing balls at it. Hopefully I have enough to catch it, because last, you you, go, you guys know, last last thing, it was, it was awful, I, it was, oh my god. I don't even want to mention it. This is, I, I caught it twice. I was able to, luckily enough, to find it twice uh, in my Pokemon Emerald, and I just died, and oh my god, it was horrible. Hell yes! Okay! I'm definitely using that. No questions asked. Town Doom, and this description is just dark. Okay. Give a nickname. I'm not gonna go for. Actually, yeah, I do know what I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it. Um, Pluto. Wait, is Pluto? Yeah, Pluto is the god of the underworld. I'm pretty sure. In in Roman mythology, it is right. Yeah, it is. It has to be, doesn't it? I don't know. Let me check. One sec. Yeah, guys, I was right. So Pluto is the god of the underworld, meaning. He's the fiery dude, such as Hades. So I'm gonna name him Pluto. Awesome. So I have that now. I, I would go back and get it, but I'm gonna wait just so I can get to the next city first because we must progress faster. I feel like all these first episodes are moving way too slow, even though we are, we've only this is our 11th episode. So anyway, this is the moving tree. And once you squirt it with the bottle, the weird tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. So, now you guys know it's actually a Pokemon. It's Pseudo Wudo. Oddly enough, Pseudo Wudo is a rock type. Even though it clearly looks like a tree and it should be a grass type. I'm gonna go for a Thundershock again. I'm just gonna go for a Rock Throw. This is gonna be hurt, full, painful, hurtness. I'm gonna switch over to. Mm. Sylvanas, because Sylvanas actually is kind of low in the levels. Not low, but lower than the rest. It knows Mimic, but it failed, so ha. Mimic is actually a decent move to use on certain types that would be weak to itself, like a ghost or um, dragon, I guess. Anyway, we'll go for a Razor Leaf and destroy. So I'm going to heal up my uh, Apoke Simone, a Fulgora. Go ahead and use a berry just to do the last bit. Yep. Anyway, so you can head out this way, which is the way you get you used to get back to Violet or Azalea. I don't remember. I think it's Azalea. Let me check. No, it's out. It's it's uh, Violet. Okay. Now that you cleared that tree, this dude is gonna be happy, and he'll give you the TM08, which contains Rock Smash, which is good. 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 To give to Pokemon. 
I would give that to, I would give that to, um, is this a new route up here? Yes, yeah, so I, I need Rock Smash to get, to get certain things, but it's not necessary. But I'm not entirely sure if this is a new area or not. So these are Apricorns all here. I'm not going to go ahead and pick them, because I don't plan on turning them into uh, Pokeballs, or any type of ball. I'm going to catch a new Pokemon up here, because I can. I'm pretty sure. And that would be a Rhydon. Cool, cool. I feel like I'm not prepared for this with a Fulgora that only knows Tackle. And Thundershock, which can actually affect it. I don't really want to ride on though, because I have my Steelix, but Steelix is not great with attack though. Mm, I'm gonna run. I don't really want this. I don't want this for us, guys. Anyway, uh, there's trainers there. There's another trainer there. Just don't look at me. Just don't look at me. Damn it, you looked at me. Why did you have to look at me? So now we have a, a drowsy. I'm not actually tired, so good. You can't do anything to me, you insomniac. Your name is Drowsy, yet you can't go to sleep, you because they have some of them have the ability insomnia. I don't get it. And he disabled me, the bastard. Good, now I can tackle you in the face. No! They see, see, now now I'm tired because he put me to sleep. So I'm gonna have to switch over to someone that can stomp him hard. Like 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 Sylvanish, go out there and stomp him hard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you guys slowly, you know that? Yeah, Dream Eater won't do anything, man. Now you give away one of your moves. I'm gonna go Poison Powder on you so you die slowly and painfully. Yeah, it didn't affect me, buddy. Anyway, we're gonna go for a cut on you because I wanna cut your face off. We'll take your trunk and cut it off because that is very sadistic. And that's not good. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just cut you like a normal Pokemon would. I'm gonna cut you, man. Anyway, we took that person out and Fulgora finally grew to level 22. Because it's been dangling around 21 for the longest time. So we're done that, and you are sad because you had to look at me. That's why you got sad, because you looked at me. Anyway, we will go head up, and now we are in Ecruteague City. And it's Rid Music. And what the hell? What the hell? Dude, are you the red-headed demon child? No, you're not. You're Bill, okay. You are, hmm, scroll, uh, what, Bill just came out of the, like, nowhere and just walked up here and then started talking to us. I don't get that at all. But he's like, I've made a time capsule. Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past, but you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown, so you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsule will be running at all Pokemon centers. Basically, he's just saying, um, you can now trade Pokemon. Or trade uh, Pokemon from red and blue to this game, but you can't go backwards because the it doesn't exist back then. That's basically what he's saying. Bye bye. So now he's going back to Goldenrod with his family. It's recommended that you actually go back to Goldenrod w w to find him because um, something cool happens. What does this person say? Ah, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? Yeah. Good, you understand the treasure spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. So he'll give you the item finder, which helps finding items. Clearly. By the name suggests. It's not a trick. It does what it says. But the last, so if you want to know, if you want to find items, you use the item finder. I just did some weird teleporty crap for super speeded. So up here is the most important significant thing. Burn Tower. It was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away as it is unsafe. I don't really care about safety. Basically, it doesn't even look that burned. But in the remake, it's crazy burned. It doesn't even look burned at all. And Red-Headed Demon Child is here. Actually, no, this is not the Red-Headed Demon Child. This is Hades. What am I saying? This is just the devil himself. So, you have to taste the wrath of my Pluto, because he's your equal in a different mythology. Anyway, I don't have him out with me yet, so he's got a Haunter. So Mimic would be good for a Haunter, but Haunter I don't think knows any, uh, 
ghost moves as of yet, but it does know some decent moves. I'm asleep, I forgot, damn it, I didn't heal. And it uses spite. Damn it. Wake up! Wake up! Clap, clap, wake up! And use curse, damn it, no! 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 No, I'm gonna get cursed! Wake up, no! No, I must, I must leave, I must leave. Pokemon. Um, who can take him down easy and awesomely? Hmm. And Judea, get out there. Ow. Yeah, you lick me all over if you want. I'm gonna go for a dig because it's super effective. Stop licking me! I'm a steel rock snake thing. It's not delicious to lick me. I dig in the ground. And you use spite, but it didn't affect me because I'm digging the ground. And you're dead. Because you don't have levitate in this generation, so ha! Because there is no abilities in this generation, so ha! Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! ha. And Hades is going to use Zubat. Um, now I can send out Fulgora if he or she, she will wake up. Actually, I could have stayed out because I had Rock Throw, but who cares? I want Engineer to get some stuff. Oh, sorry, not Engineer. Well, Gora. So you will send a shock your face, and you almost died, but didn't. But almost, but didn't. Yeah, bite me all you want. I taste delicious, don't I? A Magnemite, eh? A Magnemite. Then, uh, mm, who should go out there? I'll go with Hercules, because... Hercules is still super effective, so he'll work. And this episode is getting ridiculously long. Go for a double kick and kill it, please. And then I'll end the episode off before exploring Burn Tower anymore. Because it's like 37 minutes now. Quilava. Okay, now I know who we're sending up there. Poseidon, you haven't seen action in forever. Ha, huh, you're only level 22, so am I. So, ha. Huh. My Pokemon can still beat you. I only have Water Gun right now, though. Hmm. Surf is coming up quickly, though. You actually get Surf fairly early in the game compared to other times. Yeah, you smoked your screen, but I didn't fall for it. But you're going for a quick attack. That was so quick, I almost didn't see it. But I did. But I did. Because I'm quicker. Because I'm a giant alligator thing. And you're simply a ferret. Unlike my ferret, you're a ferret. If you guys didn't know, Koava is a ferret, and all of them are ferrets, really. Uh, they will evolutionary chain. I have a ferret, though, not a ferret, so it's different. And I beat... It. Yeah, I'm calling I'm calling Hades It now. Because you're not really a deity, you're just a beast. Anyway, we're done here. Not really done, but we're done the episode. So, if you guys liked, don't forget to leave a like. And if you guys hated it then please leave a like, because you know what? Likes are likes and hates are hates. But hates are likes, because likes are likes. Get it? I don't. I don't know what I just said. Anyway, don't forget to leave a like, because you guys definitely liked it, because if you guys didn't, you wouldn't have watched it this long. And, um, don't forget to subscribe and leave comments on why you liked it and what I should do about the predicament that I have is if I should continue with the Kanto gyms right away or take a hiatus little break thing and uh, do another game and then come back to it. I do not know, so I hope you guys do know. So comment and tell me what I should do. Anyway, see you guys next time for Let's Play Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer Silverness. And there's no specialty to this game other than the randomizer. I'm calling it Silverness purely for the fact that I'm a super scroll and have weird contendencies. Did I say contendencies? Tendencies. Because I'm an alien. I'm not really from this world. We are the scroll army, don't forget. From a different world. The scroll home planet. And we must invade Earth. To take over its resources. And escape Galactus from destroying our planet. We must we must destroy all humans and I don't know where I'm going with this. This is just basically the main story of the Avengers. Not the Avengers movie, but, um, the Avengers in general. This is what they have to protect people from, the Skrulls. And mainly the Fantastic Four have to protect Earth. Anyway, see you guys next time. I got way off topic there, talking about myself and Marvel. See you guys next time.